everyone, this is Maria and this is my collecting habit. In this video, I'm going to share some fun things that I recently purchased at an estate sale. It was a three day estate sale. I went alone on a Thursday, that was last Thursday, and I did spend $25. And then on Saturday, my husband Joey went with me. We love to go together to estate sales, to doll shows and toy shows and flea markets. And so he went with me and that was the last day of this estate sale and often they will have sales. And so because they're trying to sell as much as they can and so they gave us some really great prices including this dollhouse that was originally marked for $35. And I already have four dollhouses. These are the 10 metal dollhouses by the Marks, M-A-R-X company, the Marks Toy Company. You can look that up on eBay if you want to see some different ones or Pinterest also. And so, but anyways, look how pretty this one is. We don't have one like this. And I said to Joey, I'm trying to be so good because of space in our home. And I go, I don't know if we have somewhere to put this. I don't think so. And he says, we'll make room for it. He really liked it. And so he found the perfect place for it for right now. You can see the little patio furniture here because they also had the furniture. It was sort of scattered in this one room. And so where they had a lot of toys, where they just sent out boxes. And so I had to dig, you guys. And so anything that looked like this kind of furniture or something like this, which I'm glad I picked these up, you guys. I picked them up, I put them in my bag and this. Otherwise, if someone else had bought this or if I had bought this without thinking about it too much, I would have got, look at this just snaps on or I'll take this one off right here. It would have been without it. But now look, you guys, oh my gosh, I am so excited about that. I did not find the other awning, but you never know. I may find that somewhere else or I could even find it on eBay. Also, I felt really lucky with this dollhouse because it has, look at this, the chimney. And often these things are missing too, you guys. You can see these uh, these little tabs here. You, you know, you put it together and then you bend it over the metal and that's how it holds together. You fold it over. And then here's another extension of the house. And now this was another piece that I also found. It's broken right there, but it has this tab. And you can see this little opening here. Just put that there. Yeah, how lucky was I, you guys? I feel so lucky. And I love this little area. You know, you can put a little bicycle, park a bicycle, maybe put your roller skates there or something. So cute. I love the artwork on these homes. Look at this. Just love this. Even the vent, you guys, look at the little vent. So detailed. And so let me go ahead and show you this side here. And you can even see the stonework on the patio and the flower boxes. And I was going through all those boxes, you guys. So, well, it's not like there was a ton of them. There were several little small boxes that had like little doll clothes, all kinds of little stuff, little doodads. And I found all of this furniture. So I've already gone through everything and I've washed it all. So I went ahead and flipped this around so you could see the inside of the house. Look at this right here. I love everything, you guys. You can see the drapes. I see some golf clubs. And it looks like a pennant over there. Look at that. And then here is that area again where I said you can park your bicycle or something. And then here is the living room. Now there's the door. Look at that. You can see drapes there. And also on the lower level, this looks like the kitchen. How cute, right? And then here's another little room here. So cute. Probably make that into a bedroom. And then here is a bedroom right here. I believe this is the master bedroom. And you can see like the rug is painted, the drapes, the pictures on the walls. And then this one right here, this looks like the bathroom. And then this is a child's room. So here is the tin barn and it is so cool. We really love this too. I mean, look at the roof, you guys. Isn't that neat? And then it's got this little piece right here. Whoops, it's coming off. See how easy this would be to lose, you guys? It's missing one. Again, hopefully I will be able to find another one. 
And then we have a silo. And so I think that's what they're called, right? And so it's where you store like, I think like greens and things like that. It looks like there's supposed to be another one because this one goes here. And so hopefully we'll be able to find that. And then look how cool the roof is. I just love the way it goes, how it curves. Isn't that neat? And then this right here, I'm thinking maybe, do you think they would have their horses come up here, you guys, and into the barn? I'm not sure, but it is so cool. And then we have this little area here and this little shed-like area. And so maybe this goes here. I'm not sure, you guys. Just like I found all of those little pieces of furniture that went with the dollhouse, I found some things that went with the barn also. And so that's what I mean. There was a lot of smalls, you guys, that I went through. And so I have some of the little farmers here, and then there's the animals, and there's fencing, and all kinds of accessories. There's some birds here, chickens, cows, horses, and just really, really cool, you guys. I mean, this was just a lucky find. And oh my gosh, you guys, the first thing Joey spotted when we walked through the garage and we were going to enter the home he spotted this. And so that whole area in the garage, it looked like a lot of tools and things like that. And I remember on that first day when I had to walk through there to get to the area to pay for what I was buying, it was really crowded. There was a lot of men in there. And I told Joey about that because he likes to look at tools and things. And so when he went in there, he could not believe what he saw. He's really into this, you guys. When he was a kid, Joey is the type. He's always loved to build things, work with his hands. He's just really smart, you guys. And so, but anyways, this is an erector set from the 19, oh my gosh, I think he said maybe even the 40s. And so, but you can see the artwork here. And it says, Erector, the world's greatest toy. It comes in this really heavy, it's very heavy, you guys almost like a toolbox type of metal. You could even see the metal things on the corner, they're all rusted. And so, yeah, you can see it's been around, you guys, all the scratches and everything. There's a sticker on here and it says patents, see inside a box. So this was Joey's lucky day. And so let's go ahead and open it. And it, look at that, look at the artwork. This is a Ferris wheel, look at that. And it says built with, and then it says number eight and a half set. I don't know what that means. The AC Gilbert Company, New Haven. And I think that says Connecticut, USA. Now part of it is ripped and it says, hello boys. Look at the guy's little bow tie there. And it says electric lights, reversing electric engine, electric magnet and whistle. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for him. He was like a kid when he looked at this. And so you could see all of the parts. Look at this, looks like a motor or something. The book is even in here, you guys. Look at this. Isn't this cool? And look at all of this. Oh, look at this. That goes with that. I'm sure Joey can put that back together again. But look at all of the pieces. This is Joey, my husband Joey. He loves to build things. And so he was the kid that was into, you know, electronics and all kinds of stuff. And so look at this. Oh my gosh. And so it says erector, and then there's all kinds of things with plugs. And so this is beyond my comprehension, you guys, but it sure makes me happy because it makes my husband happy. And this is just so cool. I'm so happy that he found so it. So now I'm gonna go back to the first day that I went to this estate sale where I found these dolls. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to find these. These are the vintage, the 1950 Walker Ginny dolls by Vogue. And so look at this, you guys. And so they do need some clothes. She has her little wigs, the Saran wigs. And so I'm gonna show you when you move her legs, her head moves. And so she's got the little blinky eyes there. They get stuck, but that's okay. And so she is strung together with elastic, as you can see. But you know what? The elastic is holding, although Joey thought it might be a good idea to go ahead and pay someone to restring them for me. So they'll last a long time. But look at that with the red hair. And then here's the brunette. And this one is a little bit looser. 
And so, but look at this, her head moves and her eyes move a little bit better. Isn't this cute? I love these. These are the Jenny dolls again, G-I-N-N-Y by Vogue, and that's V-O-G-U-E, Vogue. And so they were very popular in the 1950s. And so, and even the decades to follow, then they became, you know, made in vinyl and things like that in different ones, you guys. And I do have a lot of those, but I really wanted some of these early vintage ones. I do have Ginny's sister, Jill. I have two of those and those also need to be restrung. I also found those at an estate sale and I was beginning to think maybe I'll never find these Ginny's and there they were. And so I grabbed those really quickly. The one I really didn't expect to find is this little Betsy McCall, also from the 1950s. I believe this was about the time I was born, around 1957, the late 50s. And so, but anyways, you guys, I did buy a Betsy McCall in January because Joey and I had gone to this really neat toy show and I found the Betsy McCall vinyl little suitcase in really great shape, a bunch of clothes. I got it for a really great deal. I think I paid $15 for all of it. And I'll share that in a video one of these days, you guys. But I didn't have the doll, so I went ahead and ordered it and it was $100, yep, $100. And look, you guys, here is one here. And she's in really good shape. I just need to get her restrung. And so I'm gonna show you her head. She's blinking, but look how cute in really great shape otherwise. And then here she is, her body, and her legs bend. Now these dolls have a hard time sitting. It has something to do with a little mechanism in there. Even the one I paid $100 for, and even though it had been restrung, that part doesn't work. And so, but anyways, and that doesn't really matter to me because I'm going to have them standing up with a doll stand. And then here are the arms. I mean, I could not believe it. I checked to make sure these hooks were still on there. And so, yeah, so that's where the elastic will go when they restring it. And look at her hands, everything looks great. So you guys, this was just awesome. And then I had a bunch of little stuff and I've sort of mixed it up with some other things here that I'll share with you in a little bit, but I paid $25 on the first day. And so I did get this one on the day that I went with Joey. And this is just a really inexpensive uh, doll that you could have picked up at a dime store way back when, probably in the 1960s. But you know what? She's in really good shape. Look at her eyes, her batting. She's got her little dress, her little molded on shoes. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to take her. I love these little dolls. Also, I got this. This was with all the stuff like, um, you know, where I showed you the doll furniture, the farm animals, things like that. I found this in there. Look at this. And I love trolls, all different sizes. And then I found this, you guys. I found this exact one, almost exact one. I can't remember if it's the same dress. And so at another estate sale last year, it says it was originally $3.75. I'm pretty sure I just probably paid pennies for this, you guys, if even that. It does say, because when I got this, it was the same day that we got the dollhouses. So really, to me, it's almost like I got it for free. It says, this is a replica of a doll that Patty Reed, a survivor of the Donner Party, brought with her to Sutter's Fort, where she said to her daddy, I hope you're not mad at me for bringing my doll. And so, you know what? That makes me want to do a little bit of research on this. And so if you don't know anything about the Donner Party, go ahead and Google that, you guys. It's very interesting. And so I got that. I also picked this up, you guys, because I am collecting some vintage sewing things, you guys things that have to do with sewing. I'm thinking I might end up making like a collage in a frame, but this is an older one. And so I really like this. Even the rubber band feels old. And so these are doll stands. They are older. You can tell they're aged, but you know what? Maria doesn't care you guys because doll stands are so expensive. I'm not kidding you guys. They are so expensive. And I, yes, these are made by Kaiser. They're made of steel. On both trips to this estate sale, I was looking for the handmade doll clothes for Barbie, and I found quite a few of them. 
And so I went ahead and put them all in this Ziploc bag. They're really clean, you guys. They look really clean and they're in really good shape. And so I do want to mention, I believe that the person, the woman who lived in this home, and by the way, I would like to mention here that when I go to an estate sale, I go with great respect to you guys, I truly do. And so, but I do want to mention this person, it was so obvious to me that she loved to sew, she loved to knit, she loved to crochet, she loved to do all kinds of crafts. She saved everything, you guys. I mean, patterns, booklets, books, newspapers, photographs, letters. I could tell she was a very sentimental woman, you guys. And so I just really appreciate these and will take really good care of them. And so I'm so happy to find all of them. Let me just pull one out so you can see her craftsmanship. Look at this, you guys. I mean, I really appreciate people's craftsmanship because my mother could crochet. She could do a lot of that. I can sew, but I cannot do this. But look how cute this is, right? And then look at the little top. And then here's another little top. Oh, I have to show you this. Too cute, right? This one even has buttons. And I'll show you one more. Look at that. Oh my gosh, way too cute, right? So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. I also found some of her handmade a cloth doll clothes and not as many but there are a few here like this one right here is so cute look at this this would look really cute on an older Barbie so these are for the Chrissy doll from the 1960s look at this how cute right look at how much a pattern cost back then you guys 75 cents patterns are so expensive nowadays when I saw this I didn't even know they made a pattern for the sunshine family and so I have the Sunshine Family dolls and I will be sharing that. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I do have one more Sunshine Family thing to share with you that Joey found in the garage at this estate sale. And so I'm glad I'm showing this to you, but look at this. This is unused, this pattern. And then look at this. This is also from the 60s. The Pee Wee dolls were very popular and the Troll dolls. And then there are some baby dolls this one's an older pattern also. And then this pattern is not as old. It's by Simplicity and you could tell because it has the barcode, but I still thought it was really cute. And then look at this one here. Oh my gosh, so adorable. It says high heel figure dolls, like Revlon dolls. Oh my gosh, I do have the Revlon doll, you guys, the 20 inch. We got this little booklet, it's by Coates and Clark and it was 29 cents and it has patterns in here, you guys, and instructions to make all of these neat doll clothes. Oh my gosh, so cute. There were two of them, so I just got both of them and you can see the patterns are in there. This one is Petite Doll Knitting Book, regular 40 cents for this little booklet. You could see the older dolls here that look like Barbie. And then this one right here, look at this, so cute. This is, it looks like Betsy McCall right here. And then look at that, so adorable. And then here's another one. And then I love the art on the back. And then this one right here, Teen Doll Knitting Book. How fun, right? Just the artwork alone. And then here's another one, 50 cents. It's saying Doll Knitting and Crocheting Magazine. And my mom used to crochet baby doll clothes for, uh, for her first granddaughter. And so, and then this one is the best dressed doll wear mini knits. And so this is really, really cute. These are little doll stands in the shape of hearts. And so this would have been for a smaller doll, kind of like this one, that's kind of lightweight. And so, but anyways, I have the perfect dolls for these. So I'm really excited. And so there are six in all. And then I came across this little book. I thought it was so cute. It's called the Electric Cookbook. It says oven broiler, one dish meals, casseroles and meat dishes, cakes, pies, and other desserts. Oh my gosh, it looks like they've got an electric stove here. And then look at this, so cute. I love the artwork. So then I'm going to show you this little photo album that says Snapshots. And you can see it's held together with the leather strap. So cute, in really great shape. And this is what I mean. This woman obviously was very, very sentimental. And I just think it's so cool. Look at the artwork on here. 
And so this is one thing I just grabbed because it was small and I go, oh yeah, I have room for this, you guys. It says Buckaroo, two months, Jackie. So I believe this must have been her, Jackie, and her dog, Buckaroo. Isn't that cute? And then this one says Buckaroo, six months, and Jackie. And this one says Bucky. So he went from Buckaroo to Bucky. Look how cute. And then this says Bucky. Look how adorable. We're seeing Bucky grow up. And then it says Bucky, Dottie, and Jackie. I love those names, Dottie. Reed's boat, I learned to water ski behind the boat. And then this is what really got me, you guys. All of her friends, all of their names, it says 1943, my goodness. And this says 1943, 1945, 1945. This is just so cool, you guys. Imagine her just spending the time doing this, right? The music she was listening of the era, the 40s, right? Probably Frank Sinatra. Oh my gosh, this is so neat. And there's a little car here. I just love this. I love tin boxes. I'm really trying not to buy things like that though, because then I don't know where I'm going to keep them. But this one is small enough, you guys. And so it won't take up too much space. Look at the clouds, the background, all the little houses. And I'm pretty sure that's why I fell in love with this as soon as I saw this. And so just love it. And so I still need to clean it out a little bit. And it's just really adorable. So this Sunshine Family Craft Store is the very last item I'm going to share in this haul. And I'm so grateful to my husband, Joey, who found it for me in the garage at that estate sale. He had found his erector set, which I am thrilled for him. That is so cool. And then he found this for me because he knows I love the Sunshine Family. It took me a while, you guys, a little while to find all of the dolls. And so, yeah, so I will be sure to make a video of the Sunshine Family. They were popular in the mid 70s, you guys. And so look at the artwork. You could see the husband, the wife, and their baby, and they're making crafts. It looks like they're making pottery. And then you could see this is their store. It's really down to earth, right? And you can see it says the Sunshine Family Craft Store, a big friendly place where you can help the Sunshine Family dolls make and sell crafts and share good times with friends and neighbors. And it's made by the Mattel Toy Company. No batteries needed and dolls not included, clay and yarn not included, recipe for clay in idea book. So there's an idea book in here, you guys. And so I'm not going to take everything out because I'm just gonna flip this over on this side so you can see how stuffed it is, you guys. There's a lot of stuff in there and there's directions and all kinds of things. But I am so thrilled to have this, you guys. So, so happy. So in the comments below, let us know which one of these items is your favorite. Also, you guys, if you're a collector, let us know what you like to collect and also what has been one of your luckiest finds let us know and so i'm going to pan around so you can see what i have going on here we have kitty right here this is wilma our calico she's a couple of years old and then i'm going to pan up here so you can see the barn and everything on the sink kitties will all be awake pretty soon and it'll be time to feed them again and this little kitty right here this is cam cam who i call cammy she came to us as a tiny kitten in our garage and she just fell in love with us and we fell in love with her. She is such a good kitty, you guys. And so I gotta put all of this away because it's time to feed the kitties pretty soon. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone, bye.